But is it true? Do you think that the premise that President Obama is out of touch and maybe to be a great president, he should only be a one term president? Now, I want to give you that chance to start, Zach, on the, uh, first, OK? OK, I, I, I want to laugh, first of all, uh, when, when I even see the idea suggested, um, you know, as if, you know, he will salvage uh, his presidency by admitting that he, uh, you know, uh, made mistakes and he shouldn't run, as if Republicans will automatically uh, just, you know, put down their weapons and diatribes and, and opposition and just, you know, become, you know, nice and, and humble and helpful all of a sudden. I, I don't believe that'll happen. And I think that'll only uh, stoke the fires for the opposition to really stick it to the president. So I think he, he can, um, in many ways, do bad by himself, honestly. Uh, he should go, you know, go around fighting, essentially. If he's going to lose a uh, second term like Carter did, uh, certainly don't put him in that camp. But one of the advisors, of course, uh, who wrote the article was a former Carter uh, uh, advisor, senior advisor. I mean, he should he should fight. Um, I think part of the problem is that, you know, he has been too placating, uh, believing that, you know, the Republicans would work uh, in the best interest of the American people. Well, he promised bipartisanship. He promised bipartisanship, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. I think it's now time to roll the sleeves. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, uh, I don't think they ever intended to work with him. And I, I think the article is really just uh, problematic. I mean, it, it's amazing to me, you know, that they would even suggest that. Uh, we hadn't even gotten, you know, two 2012 elections. Um, and I, I don't think the, the midterms were a uh, referendum on the president. I think that's laughable to even suggest that. Uh, I think there were a lot of uh, uh, blue dog Democrats that went down because they were wavering. And I think what this says, and, and you know, members of the left have been talking about this, that you have to really be um, uh, for what you're going to be for uh, and be clear about what you're against. But what is, what is, what is, well, let's ask that question because we're talking about President Obama and we're talking about his presidency. And if we had to define it now, is it a great presidency? Is it great? Well, I think he's accomplished a lot. I think he's accomplished a lot that people haven't um, recognized. And uh, amongst them, we've, we've, we've named quite a few of them in, in the past, and including the, the revision of the student loans, financial reform, health care. So if um, history, if he only got one term and history had to evaluate him, would he be a great president? I think he'd be a good president because he's overshadowed by the crises that are still in existence. And as we've also mentioned before, the crises fact that... Crises are opportunities to prove yourself. Well, I think they're crises at this point. <laughs> you know, he's, he has opportunities to prove himself if he had come in without all of these major issues to deal with and then had to have to deal with the controversy of having the Republicans constantly being at him just for the sake you of being at him. No? Yeah, the, the, the party of no. But the other thing I found laughable about the article is, you know, it seemed to be saying that we really need to um, find a way to um, convince the president that it's in, his, it's in the best interest of the American people as well as, you know, himself to not run so that he can spend the next two years not concentrating on campaigning, but concentrating on, you know, actually doing whatever is best for the country as if every other president that has existed has not had the opportunity to, to do both. You know, that's part well, of the job. Well, there have been 12 one-term presidents, people that were elected president and never got elected after that. Okay, so Obama would be number 13. Because remember, I said to you, I don't think he's going to win another term. Don't be mad at me. I'm just saying based on what I'm looking at here. That has nothing, okay. to, do, that has nothing to do with my perception of who he is as president. But yeah. the thing is, when we take it to the grassroots level, Charles, mm -hmm. and we look at, especially within our community, can we say he was a great president? I can't. I, well, one thing that's, that's been apparent is that he hasn't really been an advocate for himself. I mean, just like Laurie mm -hmm. says, he has accomplished some things, but he, it, it, for some reason, he doesn't seem to, to, um, to talk about it that much or, or let other people know the things that he's done and the impact that it has. So I think that falls on him and his camp and his people in terms of... Uh, not necessarily advocating, but in terms of just voicing the things that, that he's accomplished while, since he's been in there. Well, because the Democrats. He, he, lets, mm -hmm. he basically, basically, I don't know, you know, I, I'm just, I, I just don't know. You but know? The, the, the Democrats made a conscious decision during the midterm elections not to talk about the accomplishments, accomplishments that they had. That was a political decision that they made. And part of the article, Zach, that I find is problematic is that 
They were asking President Obama to be a, a, a statesman, whereas they're not asking anyone else to be that. No. Um, and, and when you compare this to President Bush's presidency, I mean, to me, this is this is then the part that really makes me want to uh, wonder what these uh, individuals are, are really up to who wrote the piece. Uh, because, you know, around the same time that the midterm election comes, uh, comes about, uh, Republicans take Congress, you know, make some gains in, in the Senate, and all of a sudden President Bush comes out with, uh, you know, his interview with Matt Lauer, uh, basically trying to recapture his image. And I think all of this is just kind of swirling together, while at the same time trying to paint President Obama again, you know, in this light that he's worse than President Bush. And I'm like, you know, are you kidding me? I mean, I know, again, he hasn't fully, you know, met a lot of the, uh, you know, uh, demands that, you know, many people on many sides want, but... It's almost like you know they're ele it's elevating President Bush and his record and, and retrieving it from the you know the dust heap, and then put, trying to push President Obama off you know into the sunset. And I think you know we have really had to take all these things apart at this time and look at it. And I think all the criticisms are very warranted. Uh, you know, and I think at the end of the day he has to be much more vocal and forceful, uh, regardless of you know what happens in 2012. Uh, but you know it's it's to me it, it's a matter of. You know, he is who he is as a president, but I think there are a lot of other forces around him that have made this an unconventional time to be president. 